Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the DA42 Twin Star by Cows. This is not going to be a flying video. This is going to be a update video. Um, a few videos ago, around about the time when 1.0.4 was released, I created a video going into the changelog that was part of the process of the update for 1.0.4. Well, 1 .0. sorry, 1.0.3 when that came out. Well, 1.0.4 has been released as an update, and I've got it, and I'm going to go into the update in a bit more detail. Now, 1.0.3 added and changed quite a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of stuff that you could see and feel and hear, and also quite a lot of stuff that you couldn't feel, hear, and see. Uh, 1.0.4 is actually, well, it's quite small, it's a bug fix. And basically what they've done is they fixed the two times fuel float bug. So I don't know whether this was something that I suffered from, or my aircraft, I should say, suffered from. Um, I suppose this would be more a case of uh, the longer the flight, the more you'd notice this. The aircraft would be drinking more fuel, uh, twice as much fuel as what it should be. But they have fixed this, which I think is fantastic, because even though it's a very small bug, it would be a very annoying bug. And it just shows that the developers are still... Uh, very keen on fixing things and tweaking things, which makes our experience as flight simmers much better. But what I decided to do was tag along with the little update of the Twin Star a little bit of my update for what I want to do with the Twin Star. Now, this particular Twin Star that we have in front of us actually has never featured on the channel. It's uh, actually American, it's the Utah State University Twin Star. Um, you might be wondering where I get these repaints from. If you purchase, sorry, purchase even, the Cows DA42 through Orbex, um, there is a freeware pack of textures that cover the training uh, schools that use the DA42, and these are based all around the world. Um, I fly the Leading Edge Aviation DA42, based in the UK. Uh, this one, like I say, is Utah State University, which is based, would you believe, in Utah, uh, which is in America land. There's lots of other textures there, all training schools. Now, I'm hoping that these are schools that were involved in the creation of the said DA-42. Uh, if anybody from Cows is actually watching these videos, if you want to confirm that, I would be brilliant, because I would love to know. I know you guys said that you spoke to a lot of training schools about uh, how the aircraft handles, how it looks, how it functions, all that kind of stuff. And you also spoke to a lot of the trainees as well. So not only did we get the instructors, we got the uh, trainees' opinions as well, which I think made for an absolutely fantastic product. I do believe, in my humble, honest opinion, that the DA-42 by Cows is potentially the best twin-engined um, general aviation aircraft we here have on the flight simulator right now, as of this particular date this video goes out. I'm not saying that there are aircraft out there that are, you know, um, you know, the other ones that are worse ones, but I do believe that this one has it all, and I'm absolutely loving it. And this is from a, from a company that, you know, never came out with anything else. This is their first aircraft, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, a little bit of news on cows themselves. I do believe they are in the process of actually making another diamond aircraft. I presume this to be the DA-40, which will be the single engine version, version even, of the 42. And if it's anything like this aircraft, boy, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So, what further content am I going to be creating, Crafty Simulations, uh, regarding the Leading Edge Aviation DA-42? Well, as of the last time we was on the playlist for that, uh, the last video we did, I had taken it from Humberside to Retford, airport which is a base uh, used by Diamond um, for obviously maintenance and I will be flying it back out of um, Retford and I'll be probably coming back here to uh, Waddington and we will then probably be setting up for our longest flight in the DA-42. We are taking our leading edge aviation DA-42 back home. It's not based here at Waddington, it is based at London Oxford Airport, 
and that's where we're going to. Now, I have a realistic scenery pack for London Oxford, and it actually has the building with Leading Edge Aviation's logo on it, so it's going to be interesting. I'll try and get some photos set up with the DA42 next to it, all that kind of stuff, but that's, that's in the future. I'm not going to put a date as to when that kind of video is due out, but it is in the near future for videos for me to create. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit longer than normal. Um, I normally like to create content where it's unbroken, you know, I take off, I fly, I maneuver, I land, and there's not been a pause or a break in that. But I think for videos where there's going to be a bit longer flight times, I mean, we're talking, what, it's about 40 minute flight time? I think, somewhere at ballpark. Um, I think we're going to have to put a little pause or break into that. So we'll cover the takeoff, we'll cover the flight, we'll cover the landing, but there'll be breaks in between that so that I don't bore you guys with what essentially is going to be a VFR hopefully a VFR, um, if not it'll be an IFR flight, down to London, Oxford. So that's uh, one of the things that you can look forward to. I'm also planning on potentially taking the Twin Star through the Mac Loop. For those who do not live in the UK, the Mac Loop is in Wales, and it is where some fantastic photography opportunities are for anybody who wants to take photos of airplanes. The military send, the RAF, send their aircraft through there um, for low-level training. Obviously, I do believe the Mac Loop is actually open to the civilian as well, so um, I don't know whether Twin Star has ever gone through there, but I am planning on it. Uh, I don't know what it looks like in the flight simulator, because I've never actually flown <laughs> uh, through, the, uh, through the Mac Loop. So I've got to work on that, but that's in the future. So... I hope you found this video a little bit informative. Um, I would like to continue cre creating these videos that go into a little more detail of the upgrades and updates that we receive as customers for the DA42. So we've had 1.0.4. I can't wait for 1.0.5 to be released because, you know, even if it's just a few more little tweaks here and there, we are tweaking a very, very, very excellent aircraft it just gets better and better with every single update and no i am not sponsored in any way shape or form by cows i do not work for them um but if any one of them you know developers do watch these videos thank you for releasing this aircraft because it's an absolutely amazing aircraft and i really hope you carry on with some amazing work on this particular aircraft so like i said if you have any questions or comments, bang them in below, below. If you have any ideas for future content involving the DA-42, put them down there as well. I will read every single comment. Obviously, some stuff I can't do. Some stuff, uh, if I can do, I will try and do it. So, I hope to see you guys in a future video here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the future very, very soon.